Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 215. That is, what is user acceptance testing? Let me answer. User acceptance testing is also known as acceptance testing. You can either call it as acceptance testing or user acceptance testing. Now let me explain this question in detail. So first of all, before you understand what is user acceptance testing, you need to know that there are different levels in software testing, okay? There are different levels of testing in software testing. That is, first level is unit testing, which is generally performed by developer, okay? So unit piece of code, which cannot be broken further, will be tested independently, like that multiple units will be there. All these multiple units will be tested independently individually by the developers first okay that is unit testing after the unit testing is done by the developers then developers will perform the next level of software testing that is integration testing where these units okay these units can be logically grouped together okay as per the possibility and tested together to see whether these use these units when combined are working fine or not okay that is integration testing. There are several approaches for uh, performing the integration testing that developers will choose based on their situations in the projects. After integration testing, which is done by developers, next type of testing is, next level of testing is system testing, which is done by software testers, where software testers will test the entire application as a whole, okay? Developers will give a particular build or version to the software testers for testing. As a whole, the software testers have to perform testing, that is system testing. Here, the main focus of the software testers while performing the system testing is about uh, whether the requirements, okay? According to the requirements, the developers have developed the application functionality or not, okay? It's more, more focus of the software testers, okay? So if, if you talk about 90% of the focus of the software testers will be uh, like to check whether the developed software by developers is developed according to the given clients, given requirements or specifications or not. That's what is the main 90% or 95% focus. Remaining 5% or 10% user needs and expectations may be there, but main focus here in system testing that software testers will generally do is, they will check the developed software according to the requirements, whether it is properly developed or not. That is system testing. Now, once the system testing is completed by software testers and software testers state that uh, the software is very good, the quality of the software is good and it's uh, matching all the requirements and all, then the testing is not done yet. There is another level of uh, software testing that is the last level, which is either called as acceptance testing or user acceptance testing, okay? We can either call it as acceptance or user acceptance testing here, Okay, when compared to system testing, system testing, the main focus is on uh, whether the developed software is according to the requirements. That is the main focus, ultimate focus. But the ultimate focus or main focus in acceptance or user acceptance testing is whether the developed software is meeting the user needs and expectations or not. Okay, it's not about requirements, guys. Okay, whether the users are able to use the software well or not, whether the users will be able to use the software well or not. Okay, all the needs and expectations of the users are matching or not, that point of focus, okay, they bring into acceptance testing. But who will be performing acceptance testing? Here, software testers are not going to perform the acceptance testing, rather a different type of people, okay, are going to perform the acceptance testing. I'm going to explain who are they, okay? Here, the main focus I told you is user needs and expectations, whether the developed software is meeting the needs of the user okay is meeting the needs of the user and meeting the expectations of the user that's what is the main focus and who generally perform this acceptance testing either the end users will perform or client side business team will perform okay or the end users are client side business team this acceptance testing or user acceptance testing will be performed at two levels guys first one is alpha testing first level is alpha testing and second level is beta testing first alpha testing will be performed okay before releasing the software into the market okay after the system testing is done by the software testers where their 
generally check whether the developed software is according to the requirements, right? Then, as part of the first level of acceptance or user acceptance testing, the first level of testing is alpha testing under a user acceptance testing or acceptance testing. Here, the client side business team, okay? Who will be testing? The client side. The client side, there will be some team who knows the business well. Those people will come with a lot of checklist items and see whether all the user needs and expectations are getting met or not, okay? And this uh, checking and everything will be done at the developer side, okay? Wherever the developers are working, right? Uh, okay, there the, this client side business team will travel to that site and the, they will make sure that developers build the software according to the user needs and expectations according to the business checklist created by the client side business team, okay? Here, not the end users, okay? Here, we don't have end users. Client side business team are acting like end users and they are coming with a checklist and uh, they are taking the help of the developers uh, and making the software uh, to go in the direction of the end user needs and expectations, okay? Since uh, client side business team knows the business well, they will try their level best in, uh, you know, right, satisfying the user needs and expectations. This is all for testing. After the, here software testers also will support this process, guys, okay? Because developers will change the code means again, who is going to test? Software testers only, okay? Client side business team is only contributing in the terms of checklist, okay? A kind of a user checklist, okay? User needs and expectation checklist. Fine. Once alpha testing is done, a kind of confidence will build, okay, in the uh, team, okay? So, yeah, we have at least met some user needs and expectations. Users, we are going to like our software like that, some confidence will build, but that's not enough, okay? So, we want to do a trial, okay? We want to do a trial on the real people, the real users who are going to use the software. We want to, we don't want to release the software directly to them. Rather, we want to do a trial with them, okay, to see whether what is their reaction, okay? What is their reaction? Let's see, kind of. So for that, beta testing will be done, okay? So most of the companies like Microsoft, if you see, right, uh, before they release the actual uh, operating system like uh, recently Microsoft Windows 11 got released into the market as per today's data and all the latest is uh, Windows 11 got released into the market. It is not directly released into the market. First beta version will be released into the market to the limited, okay, to the limited number of end users or end customers, okay, uh, to a particular group of people only, okay, real users only to a limited number of end users or customers, uh, the software will be released. And these people uh, will use the software for their daily needs and all those stuff and uh, see whether uh, the software is really meeting their needs and expectations or not. If not, uh, they will give the feedback, okay? So that uh, the company will actively collect the feedback and do the changes. And finally, once uh, this level of confidence comes where feedback comes from the real users or real limited number of end customers, right? All the changes will be done again, again, developers, tester support, everyone will be there and a final software will be ready. And that software will be after completing the acceptance testing at the two levels, that is user acceptance testing at two levels, that is alpha and beta testing. Finally, the software will be released into the market with that confidence, okay? So hope guys, you understood what is acceptance testing or user acceptance testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I am going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.